Today we are talking about TikTok, Wayfair, Tesla, and more. Welcome to our new Iblebit show where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get going. Florida is not doing so hot now that they've hit a record of 15,000 new coronavirus cases in just 24 hours. If Florida was a country, it would be placed in fourth place behind the US, Brazil, and India, as the state's daily increase in cases has already surpassed the highest daily tally in any European country. Altogether, the US has hit a global record of 60,000 new cases in just four days, with the help of California, Arizona, and Texas currently registering the highest number of positive tests. Hopefully, this will be a wake-up call to anti-mask activists across the U.S. Wayfair is under investigation by conspiracy theorists who are suspicious of the online furniture company being involved in the sex trafficking industry. Individuals are finding unusual links between Wayfair and sex trafficking on Reddit, such as the names of missing children being the same names as large storage cabinets that are being sold online for ridiculously high prices. Reddit has even proven that Wayfair is supplying furniture to immigration and customs enforcement detention centers where children have gone missing from. Wayfair is denied denied the theory on Friday, so hopefully this is all a coincidence. Since TikTok has recently caused large companies to question their privacy while using the app, Wells Fargo has officially directed its employees to remove TikTok on all company-owned phones. Many users have claimed that the Chinese-owned video sharing app is accessing its user clipboard data on iOS devices because it was checking their clipboards every one to three keystrokes. Wells Fargo is not the only one suspicious of invasive practices, as some U.S. military have already banned the use of TikTok on government-owned devices. Disney World's Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom reopened on Saturday despite the high spike of COVID-19 cases in Florida. Luckily, Disney is requiring face masks inside the park, temperature checks upon arrival, and an absence of fireworks shows and parades since those activities require large amounts of people in one place. Although the U.S. recently reported over 70,000 hospitalizations in just one day, Disney still plans to open Epcot and Hollywood Studios July 15th. Calling all Tesla fans, the Model Y is currently for sale with a $3,000 discount now priced just below $50,000. Tesla just began shipping the Model Y in March and reported better than expected delivery numbers despite the economic downturn. Even the car maker's factory in Fremont, California, which is temporarily closed, is still holding up delivering almost 100,000 Model 3 X and Ys. Elon has been doing serious business during these unprecedented times and is even richer than Warren Buffett after adding another $7 billion last Friday to his now 71 billion net worth. There's a newly discovered comet in the sky named Neowise, which is visible to see in the early hours of the Northern Hemisphere. According to NASA, Neowise takes 6,800 years to complete its path around the sun. The comet will be closest to Earth July 22nd, where stargazers may be able to see its epic tail without a telescope. Better jump on this opportunity because Neowise will not be visible for another 7,000 years. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning into Ibble Bits, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.